Today I'm going to make O. Henry bars for my brother's birthday. He's turning 50 today. And this is one of his favorite treats and just takes a few simple ingredients. Brown sugar, Quaker oats. I'm using the quick cook method of oats. Um, some honey, some vanilla, and butter. That's going to make the cookie part of this treat. And then we're going to top it with a mixture of chocolate chips and peanut butter. Okay, I've been allowing two sticks of butter to come to room temperature and I'm going to cream that together with the brown sugar. Use my KitchenAid here, my KitchenAid hand mixer of my favorite color. Okay, I'm going to add the brown sugar, two cups, I'm preheating the oven to 350 degrees. Now that that's creamy, I'm going to add almost a whole container of honey. And a splash of vanilla extract. That always adds some nice flavor. And we're going to mix this up real good. To that mixture, I'm going to add eight cups of quick oats. And it will start to get very thick as we start to mix this. That's why it's important to have all of this nice and creamy before you start this part. Just uh, we're going to slowly add eight cups. Now I have mixed all the oatmeal in. You can see that it's very hard to mix this by hand. It's nice to have a little mixer on this. But look how, um, I just want to show you how fluffy it is. It's something that you're going to press into the pan to make the cookie bar. So it's not going to be like a liquid or anything like that. Um, this recipe, we call it O. Henry bars. It's been in the family a lot of years, but it tastes like an O. Henry bar, even though it doesn't have the same ingredients. <laughs> But, um, okay, we're going to press this into a pan. Now this batch is enough to make like a large jelly roll pan, but uh, since I'm taking it to a party, I'm going to use the, uh, you know, aluminum pans that they can, they can take care of after the party's over and I don't have to get my pan back. So I'm using two pretty good sized pans here. And you just tumble this stuff in here and lightly press it on. So I'm going to make sure that the cookie is going to be about maybe three quarters of an inch thick when it's done. You don't want to press it too hard or it'll become like a rock. <laughs> so we just want to lightly press it in like this. I'm going to put it in the oven 350 degrees for 12 minutes. It's really enough to make the butter melt into the oats and then we're going to let that cool and put a topping on. I'm measuring two cups of peanut butter, creamy, and three cups of chocolate chips. Putting the peanut butter and the chocolate chips into a Pyrex dish, and then I'm going to microwave them together. We're just going to microwave this slowly and keep stirring it as you go because we don't want anything to burn or scorch um, and we just want to end up with a nice creamy mixture that looks like chocolate, tastes like peanut butter when it gets done. This came out of the oven now. It's very hot, but you can see it's just like pressed down. It's hard to touch. It's very hot. You don't want to really uh, toast the edges of it or it will get hard. Now this just came out of the microwave, the mixture of chocolate chips and peanut butter. Doesn't this look creamy? Mix this a little bit and then we're going to pour it on the top. Now this is mixed pretty well through. If it's not 
perfectly mixed. It's okay because you're going to spread it around on top. Everything you're dealing with here is really hot, so you got to be careful. I'm going to start pouring the chocolate mixture on top of the cookie. Now, while everything is nice and hot, it gives you the ability to spread everything smoothly, cover all the cookie bar. You don't need a real deep surface, but you want chocolate covering the whole thing. And this is also one that cools pretty nice and quickly, too. So spread them all out. Then we'll the reason for doing it when it's so hot is so that you have time to make it all come to the edges nicely. There we go. Okay. I think this looks pretty yummy. I'm going to put a big B on here for Brad. Happy birthday, Brad. Hope you have a good 50th. You are going to make this recipe. You can wait till this comes to room temperature and then uh, let it cool in the refrigerator. As it starts to set up in the refrigerator where you can cut through the chocolate, then I would cut cookie bars so that they can easily be taken out of the pan with a spatula to serve them. Um, or if you're going to take it to a picnic or a party or something, you can take this pan and people can easily get their piece out with a spatula. Okay, well I hope you try this recipe. It's really good.